the timeless island of Ithaki, hosted their cultural festival, Return to Ithaca 2013. Foreigners and Greeks from around the world flock to the beautiful island of Ithaki to enjoy the festival, watch performances by Martha Graham Company, see the art exhibit of world-renowned painter Philip Tiaras, hear poetry read by famous poets from Greece and the United States, and enjoy the photography installation. New Greek TV was there to support this wonderful cultural event that brought so much attention to the island of Homer. Okay guys, the best way to get to Ithaki is by bus or car through the city of Patra or through the village of Astakos. You'll just buy an 11 euro ticket and in three hours you're on the gorgeous island of Ithaki. Let's go. Welcome to Ithaki, land of Odysseus. Join us on this magical journey as we experience the three-day Return to Ithaca Festival 2013. the launch of the Return to Ithaca Festival 2013 with two of the people who've organized this event. We are with Janice Tripodakis and Angelos Katopodis. Well, we're very happy to be here, uh, Janice. We're so, we're so happy you could make it. And it's such a pleasure to be hosting you. We're just uh, very excited. What are we going to be seeing in the next couple of days? Uh, it's an array of events. It's, it's very, very community-based. All the people of all ages uh, with different uh, jobs, everybody's contributed, and that's what's so special. Now, uh, there's artists, uh, famous artists here as well, and poets. Yes, we are hosting seven very well-known poets from America who are here to do a, a writer's symposium with the curator Andonis Volinakis and with seven poets from Greece. We have also photographers very well-known from over nine countries for a photographic ex exhibition. Oh, Philip Chartis, who's based in New York, is exhibiting his Horse Boy, Venice-based exhibition, so we're very, very pleased. Well, Angela, I know you're from Ithaki. Do you want to tell us the words about Ithaki? From Ithaki, I'm, and of course, we do this for Ithaki. I hope to have success this year and to do it again for the year. Με την καινούρια γενιά, τι, πώς ε, τους έχετε βάλει να οργανωθούν, να βοηθήσουν. Ε, είμαι πολύ χαρούμενος γιατί η νέα γενιά βοηθάει πάρα πολύ στην Ιθάκη και δείξαν μεγάλη ανταπόκριση και τα παιδιά που έχουν τα ξενοδοχεία, τα εστιατόρια, τα μαγαζιά, γενικώ μας βοήθησαν πάρα πολύ και αυτό μας ικανοποιεί ιδιαίτερο.
And now we have the pleasure of sipping a nice cup of coffee with a view of the sea uh, overlooking the wonderful port of uh, Vathi. Here with the mayor of Ithaki, Mr. John Cassianis. Thank you for having us, Mayor. Thank you, too. Tell us a little bit about this great uh, festival that you guys are holding. Well, after uh, six months' effort, approximately, we managed to bring over the ballet of uh, Martha Graham from New York. Uh, and of course, with the ballet, we have a lot of people, a lot of uh, publicity, a little bit of everything, which is a nice thing to have. You know, we're pretty much international also, because we have a lot of captains, we have a lot of people outside the Thaki, including the United States. New York, where you diaspora, are. diaspora, diaspora, a big diaspora. The people of Ithaca, they, they need to wander, but they always have to come home. That's correct. Everybody has in his mind the return to Ithaca, and that's we celebrating this year by inviting the, the ballet of Martha Graham. So uh, this is really the what's called Nostos. We'd like to thank you for having us here in Ithaca. Thank you very much for coming, first of all, and we'd we'll be more than glad to see you again here. Uh, of course. And again, another help for to all of you because you've been advertising our island all over the world. Uh, people seeing us all over, and this enticed people to come. And this is what we're looking forward to. We're very happy to help. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. We've arrived at the capital of Ithaki, which is Bathi. Now, the port of Bathi is world renowned for being one of the most picturesque Mediterranean ports. Behind me stands the statue of Odysseus, and we're going to take a stroll throughout the town and meet some of the people and check out some of the wonderful little shops and restaurants. Strolling through the pedestrian walkway, you'll find a lot of shopping, specialty stores, products from Ithaki, tourist shops, and fine dining at one of the traditional taverns. And now we're with the owner and chef of Sirines, which is a traditional tavern here in Bathin, uh, at Ithaki. And he's going to talk to us about traditional dishes that Ithaki is famous for. Nikos Kostopoulos. Hello, Niko. Τι κάνεις? Καλά, εσείς. Τα χαίρεσε το νησί σου, είναι καταπληκτικό. Ευχαριστώ, ευχαριστώ πολύ. Και ειδικά η κουζίνα σας που λατρεύω, γιατί αγαπάω πολύ το ψάρι. Είστε καλά. Πες μου λίγο για την παραδοσιακή κουζίνα εδώ στην Ιθάκη. Έχουμε δύο παραδοσιακά πιάτα, το σαβόρο που είναι με ψάρι, δεντρολίβανο και σταφίδα, λόγω των, αυτι... των πολλών αυτικών που υπάρχουν στο νησί. Και έχουμε και το κοτόπουλο τσερέπα, που γίνεται... ή κοτόπουλο αρνή τσερέπα, που γίνεται σε ταψί από πυλό. Και από γλυκό? Από γλυκό έχουμε τη ροβανή, που γίνεται με μέλι και ρύζι. Πόπο, σούπερ. Θα πάμε να δοκιμάσουμε. <laughs> να το δοκιμάσετε σίγουρα, είναι όλα τέλεια. Ευχαριστούμε. And we found a native who left Ithaca but returned home. George Bagripis has traveled the world as a steward. Γιώργο, τι κάνετε, καλώ ήρθατε πίσω στο νησί σα. Ευχαριστώ να είστε καλά, ο τυποθήτη. Και εσεί καλώ ήρθατε στην Ιθάκη μα, στην πατρίδα του Οδυσσέα και τη Πινελόπη. Πείτε μα δύο για τον εαυτό σα. Φύγετε από την Ιθάκη και γυρίσατε πίσω. Ε, ε, ταξίδευα με τα βαπόρια του Ονάσι, το τάνκερ το 1953 που γύριζα. Ήταν το μεγαλύτερο τάνκερ του κόσμου το, τότε. Και γύρισα. Νέα Υόρκη, Φιλαδέλφια, πιο στο Τέξας, Μομπίλια, Αλαμπάμας με, το, με τα τζένερα κάργο του Μάρκες Δίνης. Α, μετά, ναι. Αλλά μετά θέλετε να γυρίσετε πίσω στην Ιθάκη. Ε, βέβαια. Τι... Εκεί έχω συγγένει στην, στην Αμερική, στο, 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 στο Whitestone. Πώς είναι η ζωή στην Ιθάκη, πείτε μας. Η Ιθάκη είναι ωραία, ήρεμη, ήσυχη. Όνειρο. Όνειρο, όνειρο, πραγματικώς. Όνειρο. Εσεί μένετε το χειμώνα, πώ είναι το χειμώνα στην Ιθάκη. Ε, καλά είναι, καλά είναι, ήρεμα, ωραία. Είσαι... Από τουρισμό έχετε. Ε, τώρα μπαίνει ο κόσμο πάντοτε το καλοκαίρι, μπαίνει αρκετό το τουρισμό. Ωραία. Ευχαριστούμε κύριε Γιώργο, να χαίρεστε το νησί σα και χαιρόμαστε που ήρθαμε να σα δούμε. Today is the third day of Return to Ithaca 2013 and we are at the opening of the art exhibit with world famous Greek American artist Philippas Tiaras featuring his horse boy exhibit. 
And we are with the world-renowned artist, American Greek, Philippa Tiaras, who was invited here to uh, feature his exhibit, Horse Boy, at the Return to Ithaca 2013 Festival. Uh, Philippa, we love your work. Tell us how you feel to be invited here, and uh, tell us about your exhibit. Well, Ithaca is a obviously an incredible place to be and it's a very important historical place from the point of view of Odysseus and the whole history of the Odyssey and the Iliad so if there were to be an island where one could make an exhibition it would be obviously Ithaca for me on a historical level. It was a great opportunity. Uh, Janis Tripodakis, uh, a Concord uh, consulting company, created this event in effect and involved all of uh, Ithaca, the uh, municipal government, and so many other uh, charities. And it was, a, it was an opportunity for me to show one specific body of work, the horse, which is a subject of mine that I've been working on for years, in an incredibly beautiful place. I mean, you can imagine, like here, this, this, um, this is a Pinacotique of, uh, of um, Ithaca, and outside you can see the sea right in front of you. Thank you for, uh, for doing this for Ithaki, and uh, we hope to see more of you, Phil, uh, Philippa. Well, I hope you invite me back again. <laughs> And now we are with Christophoros Dulgeris, who is the art curator of the exhibition Ithaca Returned. We're very happy to be here. We love everything that's going on. Tell us a little bit about all the uh, wonderful art uh, pieces that you've brought here. Yes, we have uh, international pieces from all over the world. We have pieces from Japan, from China, from Holland, from Germany, from Greece, of course. We are trying to bring here people from uh, international uh, art, if you want photographers and artists as well that are trying to express themselves with the photography medium. This is an exhibition about Ithaca. We're trying to uh, make Ithaca as a point in the map of, of the world, which is very important. We're working every day and every night actually in this island to, uh, to try to bring Greece out of the borders. And we have to bring and to give a lot of things out. Well, you're doing a wonderful job, and we're here to support you. And uh, you definitely have accomplished your goal. Thank you, thank you. And we are with the executive director, LaRue Allen, and the art director, Janet Elber, of the Martha Graham Company. We're very happy to have them here in Greece with us, and we're very honored to have them uh, on our channel. How do you feel uh, to be part of this initiative of uh, Return to Ithaca 2013? The Philosophical Connection connects Martha Graham. How do you feel about that? It does connect Martha Graham. We do have that great history here. We've been seen at the Herodotus Atticus. We've been seen in Thessaloniki, but this is our first time uh, on Ithaca. And it's great to be a part of this idea, this idea that when you return to your home, you return to your core values. You return to the values that made you a strong society, a strong culture in the first place. And of course, Greek had so, Greece had so much to give to the West. It's wonderful to be a part of that. Uh, you chose many wonderful lamentations. Would you like to tell us about the choice of them and why? Yeah, so we, uh, we chose different works for the program here, including one inspired by a Greek story, by Theseus and f battling the Minotaur. Uh, Martha Graham, I think part of our great connection to this country is that Martha Graham took such inspiration from the iconic stories and characters here and transformed them to make contemporary statements. Can you tell us a little bit about the adaptation of Minotaur and Theseus? You, uh, she chose a woman. Yes, yes, she chose a woman to battle the Minotaur. Uh, this was a dance from 1947, and she wanted a way to express uh, a woman's inner battles. Uh, perhaps the Minotaur represents her fears, and uh, she conquers him at the end, and we see her standing 
uh, powerfully alone at the end. In closing, tell us a little bit about your travels, Thrakers. Had you have time to travel to different destinations with the dancers? How do they feel to be here? The dancers are thrilled to be here. First, I have to say that the Greeks are the best hosts in the entire world, truly the best. We have had nothing but class one treatment throughout Greece. And we, of course, we met in Athens. We went um, on, uh, we went across the country by bus and then by boat to here to Ithaca. So it's been a tremendous experience. And what does it take to become a Martha Graham dancer? Well, you know, Graham said it takes 10 years to make a Graham dancer. You start as a student, then you become a member of the ensemble, then you get a solo role, and finally you star as the hero or, hero or heroine of a Greek uh, tragedy that Graham has uh, transformed into a great modern dance. So I think what it takes is focus, dedication, time, and of course there's that talent that you have to really be born with. The X Factor. Yes, the X Factor. Did you hear all that, uh, future inspired dancers? <laughs> That's what you're going to have to do to make it uh, to Martha Graham Company. And now we are with one of the principal dancers of Martha Graham, Tade Bertnik, who happens to be from Slovenia. Welcome to Greece, Tade. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's wonderful being here, especially in the islands. And what does it take to become a Martha Graham dancer? How hard was it? Well, it takes, you know, it takes a little bit of a talent and takes a lot of dedication um, and uh, perseverance. Um, uh, it takes a lot of learning about um, uh, oneself uh, and be willing to share that uh, with uh, the audience. And as a master dancer, how do you grow now? I mean, are you going to grow into choreography? Or how, how are you growing as a dancer? You know, everybody has a different path. And uh, uh, my personal would be very different from another dancer um, that comes to the place where the dancing, you know, it has a longevity. Uh, it's, it is a physical form. My personal dedication is to make opportunities for others. Uh, so even today, I have international programs that enable dancers to come to the United States and have the same kind of opportunity that I had when I was little. And and a, a message to our viewers who are inspiring to be dancers. Um, well, uh, just follow your passion. Follow your passion and you never know where your life will take you. Um, just listen to your inner voice. Uh, work hard. Without working hard, there is really nothing. And um, you will have a success. Bravo. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. On a hilltop at the Nasser farm overlooking the settlement of Neve Daniel. This is for Amal, whose name means hope, who thinks of each tree she's planted like a child. Ulysses, the son of Adikia, prayed by Sisyphus, Odysseus, Yotis Adikias. With my now renowned guile, I left my shadow on the sea and immediately returned to Ithaca. No one believes I am here. Mavrondimeni vienis to balkoni, pano po tas kupidia tis kresenis gortis. O anemos fisomanai sta kresestro ta trapezia. Andonis Volanakis decided to use Ithaca as a setting for his live installation, uh, live poetry installation. He took part, uh, was part of this rather, uh, Return to Ithaca Festival. Andoni, wonderful work. You have gathered masters of poetry here in Greece. Uh, congratulations on your efforts. Tell me a little bit about the conception of this installation. Thank you very much for your good and warm words. The conception was to create an evolving and live installation instead of a one static a sculptural installation 
um, a situation where very important poets, thinkers, free-spirited people will come, join and coexist with the citizens of Ithaca. My motto in this project is everybody is a poet. And as we saw in the last uh, day, tonight, there were so many people here from Ithaca that they're writing and also they have this saying, I will make you a poem. So it was a blind date, a blind date between seven Greek and seven American poets in order to start building cultural bridges. And then it was a blind date of the group of the poets and the residents of Ithaca. We are with Demosthenes Agrafiotis, one of the seven Greek poets, very famous in Greece. Tell us about your experience. How do you feel to be have been, having been invited here? So that is a meeting in the, in the name of the poetry and there was a challenge how to put together poets, seven poets from the United States and seven poets from Greece. Uh, the main objective was just to think and rethink, to discover and to rediscover poetry, not only the books, but also in the streets, and in a small mo moment, emotion, feelings, discussions, glances, uh, exchanges, something that can be the origin of something that maybe you express with the term poetry. And now we are with a wonderful poet. I'm a big fan. I've seen her work on YouTube <laughs> and I couldn't wait to come see you here when I heard you were here. I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited. Jamaica Ozoria is here with us. She's from Hawaii and she's going to tell us how she feels to be part of this live installation. And how was your experience here in Ithaki? Oh, it was amazing. I don't, I've done a lot of performing in the last uh, five to seven years, but I haven't been a part of something so kind of organic and collective before, so it was just beautiful to come here and work with other poets from around the world. Do you feel more inspired being in, in Ithaca and Greece? Does, does Hellenism inspire you at all? Yeah, I think um, Ithaca has a similar kind of um, identity of nostalgia as Hawaii does in the way that I kind of approach a returning and so I think a lot of really good poetry will come out of being here and of course obviously it's just beautiful which is always pretty inspiring. And now we are with the amazing Th Samantha Thornhill which gives an electrifying performance on stage with the Trinidad, a lot of Trinidad in there girl. Tell us how you feel to be part of this group uh, and how you feel being in Ithaca with this live installation from Adonis Volunakis. Oh my goodness well it's been such a privilege to be here. I mean, I, this is a very unexpected invite for all of us. I've been to Greece twice before for various poetry programs. And it was two, last, the last two summers, I was on Serifos and then Thassos. And uh, I even start, fell in love with the Greek language. I started learning, I'm learning a Greek word a day. And so I'm always feel, I always feel, my heart always feels prepared to return. But the audience took a lot with them and uh, you definitely communicated and Adoni did a great job. What are you gonna take with you from Return to Ithaca 2013, the blind date installation? <laughs> well, I'm, aside from a, a few new uh, Greek words um, and a wealth of experiences, I mean, we made memories together and that's priceless. I mean, I, you know, you just leave feeling so much richer, but I'm also gonna take with me what it is to go out into the public and engage them in interaction because that's what we were pushed to do here was to walk up to people and really engage them with what we do in a really thoughtful way. And I feel like I really want to carry on this work in New York. Well, it was great watching you perform and we hope to see more of you on tour with this uh, Blind Day project yeah. around tour. the world. Tour! World tour! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Μια καλύτερη ζωή ήταν ο σκοπό σα και αυτό το κυνηγήσατε κάνοντα το δικό σα. Όλοι από τα γύρω τα νησιά ήπουλα μα κοιτάνε και ό,τι ωραίο έχουμε ζητάνε να το πάνε. Μα μη ζητά ποτέ κανεί ότι αυτό θα γίνει, διότι η Οδύσσια για σένα είναι γραμμένη. Όλου του κόσμου οι λαοί σε βλέπουν με αγάπη, εσένα όμω το νησί ο Μηδική Ιθάκη. Well, that was it for this year. Join us again next year and experience Return to Ithaca.